Take the yarn and make a sliding loop. We insert the hook under the working thread. Pull out the loop, hold it, remove the sliding loop. We make a chain stitch. Now we knit six single crochet stitches into a ring. We knit the first row. In the first row there are six single crochet stitches. Be sure to put a marker on the first loop. Here it is the very first single crochet stitch. We knit the first row with six single crochet stitches. Let's check. We first tighten the first chain stitch, but we don't need it, and now we tighten the sliding loop. We remove the marker and knit the second row. We knit as follows. In the very first loop, we knit one single crochet stitch. We place a marker on the first loop. This is the beginning of the second row. Now in the next loop we will knit an increase stitch, that is, in the next loop we will knit two single crochet stitches. We knit one single crochet stitch into the next loop. The next loop we will knit an increase stitch. In the next loop we knit one single crochet stitch and in the next we knit an increase stitch. The second row is completed. Let's immediately tie a knot so we could trim the yarn a little. We are tying a knot. We fixed it and tied two knots. Now we're cutting off the excess. Continue knitting. We knit the third row. Knit one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row. In the second row we got nine single crochet stitches and in the third row we will also have nine single crochet stitches. Don't forget to put a marker on the very first loop. We knit one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row. Remove the marker and knit the fourth row. We knit the fourth row in the same way as the third, one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row. Place a marker in the first loop. In the next loop we knit the second single crochet stitch and so on until the end of the row. In the fourth row we also get nine single crochet stitches. The fourth row is completed. Now we begin the fifth row. We knit a single crochet stitch and place a marker on it. We knit the next loop in a decrease stitch. That is, we insert the hook through front loop and through front loop of the next loop. Pull out the loop and knit two loops on the hook together. In the next loop, we knit one single crochet stitch, then we knit a decrease stitch.
we knit one single crochet stitch into the next loop. In the next loop, we knit a decreased stitch. In the fifth row, we get six single crochet stitches. Next, we knit the sixth row. We knit one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row. In the sixth row, just like in the fifth row, there will be six single crochet stitches. Don't forget to put a marker on the first loop. Next, we knit the second single crochet stitch. We knit the third single crochet stitch into the next loop. In the next one, we knit the fourth single crochet stitch. Then the fifth and the sixth one. We have six single crochet stitches. We fill our part with toy stuffing. Continue knitting. We knit the seventh row. We knit one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row. In the seventh row, as in the sixth, there are six single crochet stitches. Place a marker in the first single crochet stitch. We knit six single crochet stitches, one in each loop of the previous row. Now we knit the seventh row. Next, we knit the eighth row in the same way as we knitted the seventh row, one single crochet stitch in each loop of the previous row, making a total of six single crochet stitches. The eighth row is completed. We knitted the eighth row. Now we fold our product in half. We insert the hook into the next loop and into the very last loop in the very last loop. And we knit them in pairs. We have six single crochet stitches. We knit them in pairs. We get three single crochet stitches. So, let's insert the hook into the next loop and into the very last one. Here is the next loop and now we insert a hook into the very last one and pull out a loop. And we knit the first single crochet stitch, the first of three. We insert the hook into the next loop and the next one on the other side. We knit the second single crochet stitch. And then we also knit the last two single crochet stitches one by one. We will have a third single crochet stitch. Make chain stitch, pull the thread and cut it. Then tighten the chain stitch. We knitted the upper leg, and we knit the second leg in the same way. 
Now we have two upper legs and two lower legs.